what's up y'all thank you for tuning in to today's video so first and foremost don't forget to give me a like comment a beautiful comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos so in today's video i just wanted to go ahead and start off with the brows this is something that i honestly do not do on camera because yeah you have your good days and you have your bad but anywho i am using the morphe precise brow pencil this is in the shade chocolate mousse and this is six dollars at ulta so definitely a steal but i typically use this just to outline and fill in the brows um i honestly am not a fan of pomade on me only because you know i haven't really played with it much so I don't want to look crazy, but next we are going to go ahead and fill in the brows with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Ginger. And this is typically the shade that I would use to highlight. Look at that, girl, we are using this up. But if I wanted more of a closer skin tone concealer, I would go in with the shade Praline, which I do need to pick up, but I am waiting till I use the rest of this. And I'm taking that on a Wet n Wild Flat Concealer Brush. This was honestly only a dollar at five below. And this is good for cleaning up the brows or even doing a cut crease. Okay, so we are going to blend out that concealer. Now the brush that I'm using, I do not think that it's sold separately. I did get this from Glam Light. I ordered their Artist Bundle on their website. So they have two eyeshadows that look like a paint, um, like a paint palette. This brush came with that and it is like an angled concealer brush. So definitely good for blending out concealer or getting into like that inner corner. For the eyeshadow base or primer shall we say i did go in with the urban decay eye primer and then the juvia's place eye prep eye prime in the shade two um i used two concealers honestly i did not come up with this on my own i watch ohema who is here on youtube so shout out to her i don't know anybody personally but i love 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 their channels whenever i mention someone i am truly a fan of their channel but she uses two eyeshadow primers and once I started doing it I understood like it definitely allows your eyeshadows to pop and grip more and the longevity of your eye look lasts a lot longer by using the two primers so for the eyeshadow palette we are going in with the Be Perfect X Stacey Marie Carnival 3 palette in this palette, I am using, honestly, all of the brown tones. As you will see, I'm going to point to them. So we are just going for a matte brown look today. Now, Leslie Marie, who is another YouTuber that I love, and then Tatanisha, who is also one I love here on YouTube, they rave about Be Perfect and Stacey Marie collabs like their eyeshadow palettes. Now Be Perfect is a UK based brand for anybody that doesn't know. Sometimes I hate when I want something from UK and I have to order because it could take three to four weeks. But honestly, their eyeshadow palettes are so worth the wait. Like the formula is there. The pigmentation is there. Everything is just beautiful. So I highly recommend this palette. And again, like I said, we're just going in with those brown tones and creating a matte look.
Okay, so I noticed that in the Carnival 3 palette, there was no lighter nude shade. So I am going back in with that Artist Couture, the Quickie palette, and I'm just taking the shade Exposed, which is again that vanilla shade. And we are just gonna place that down on the inner corner, going up into the lid, just to create like a lighter look basically. But again, this is still going to be just an all matte eyeshadow look. I thought about it. I was going to add the shade Vanilla from the Carnival 3 palette, but that is a shimmer shade. So again, we're just going in with whatever vanilla matte shade you have will do just fine in that inner corner. Okay, you guys, so for the primer today, we are using the Huda Beauty Hydrating Jelly, Water Jelly Primer, I believe, and then also the Pixie Brightening Vitamin C Priming Oil. So the reason why I use two hydrating products is because due to the cold weather, my skin has been very, very dry, and going in with a more matte or like satin matte foundation, you do not want to have any dry patches on your skin. I did go ahead and also take some of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on my T-zone just to kind of smooth out and not really mattify because it's not the matte one, but just add a little bit more to that area since that's the spot where, you know, my pores are more noticeable. And then also that is where I tend to get the most oily. But now for foundation, we are going in with the Lancome Tant Idol Ultra Wear, and I'm in the shade 410 Bisque W. So this was definitely a product that was, you know, hyped up, which I'm not mad at it. But this is something that it's like once the hype is gone, you don't really see many people using it. And not me. I am going to use what I spent my hard earned coint on, okay? So real quick, prior to blending out the or adding the foundation and blending it, I am using the Eye Brightening Concealer by Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 9, which is peach. And I am using that color, obviously, to color correct anywhere that I may have some dark spots or, you know, my little shadow for my mustache. <laughs> I also do have like a couple little red bumps on my face. So I kind of use that to basically even out my skin tone before going in with that foundation. Now for the foundation, I am using a DSMD Shop sponge. I will have their information linked down below. When I tell you their sponges are truly, truly soft and I have about 10 of them, honestly. I will have it linked down below, $6, great sponges. If you are looking for a really good sponge, I know one that we all love and use is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, but this is also a really, really good sponge for the same price, great quality. And they are black owned, might I add. So making sure that that's blended out. Now what we are going to do is go in with the Kosas Concealer in the shade 6.5. So this is definitely a medium coverage concealer. Very, very creamy. I feel like the longer you let it sit before blending it out, you can possibly get like a full coverage look. Uh, this color definitely is not as brightening, but that is okay to me. I don't necessarily have to go for the very bright under eye look. So now for cream bronzer, 
I am going to go in with the Say. Is it Say or Sai? Ciao. I'm going in with their Sun Melt Bronzer in the shade Medium. Now, a little trick that I learned because this one, you know, it's not as pigmented as the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer, but I started actually spraying this one before putting my brush in there to kind of loosen up that bronzer a little bit and I feel like it comes out a little better and a little bit more pigmented as you can see. So that's just a little tip. Um, it still gives you a nice natural subtle bronze look but this is to me a lot better because the product is a little drying and stiff. So I have honestly been doing this and I feel like it's working out for me a little bit better. All right, so as you can see, we are going in with that Patrick Ta blush palette. This is limited edition. Um, again, this is another product that everybody was raving about. And I feel like you don't see a lot of people using it much. But again, I'm going to use my stuff. So the shades I went in with is She's Vibrant and She's Baked. And literally, I dabbed once into each color and applied that on the tops of my cheek. And it just gives you the most prettiest flush of color. So now to set the face, well actually set that concealer, we are going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. And I have mine in the shade, I want to say this is shade three. Now I'm a little, I want to order shade two because this one is definitely more of a skin tone shade. As you can see, I was struggling. I do not like the sifter on this one. So I usually just take the top off to be able to dip directly into the powder. And I am using the um, powder puff that it came with by Makeup Forever to set. But as you can see, this is definitely more close to my skin tone. It's not really brightening. So I definitely want to pick up shade two. I don't know, I'm having that battle right now between is it really necessary right now or can you wait? But I definitely wanted to show this powder love because even though it doesn't give me that brightening look, it is still honestly an amazing, amazing powder. And I definitely think this is worth the money. It gives you that matte look which I'm not mad about because I did go in with two hydrating primers. So this kind of helps control those oils a little bit better for me. And then we are gonna go in with the One Size Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder. And I have mine in the shade Medium Dark One Neutral Golden. So this one is also a very, very good powder. I feel like One Size has some really good products that you know i love their setting spray like their mattifying spray i love their uh, turn up the base primer they have some really good stuff so i highly recommend this brand which is at sephora or on his website as well for bronzer we are going in taking it back a little bit with the morphe what is it glamour bronze in the shade mega star and i'm just going to take that on an angle brush and bronze the face
that be if I did not drop something in a video seriously I am so clumsy <laughs> but anywho we went back into that Patrick Ta palette with the same shades she's vibrant and she's baked and these are obviously the matte versions so we just kind of went over and you know use those to add that blush pigment back to the face after we set the face um, I am gonna try to tone that down a little bit with my powder brush which I really love this brush it is from colored rain I have I seriously feel like I need to order another backup or so for the highlighter um, we are going in with the Laura Geller in the shade gilded honey this is their baked gelato highlighter and it just adds a pretty pop of like highlight and sheen to the skin not too overwhelming um, as you notice I don't put a lot necessarily on the apples of my cheek um, I just would prefer the nose and the cupid's bow but for the eyeliner we are going in this is by ColourPop in the shade honey dude to line the waterline so I have really been enjoying a nude or white eyeliner in the eye um, like in the waterline and then I'm just taking my bronzer shade to honestly just run that along the lash line to add some type of color to it I don't really want to do too much on my lower lash line from you know adding different color shadows only because I did record yesterday and I had to record my eye shadow look twice so my eyes are a little bit irritated as well um, for mascara item beauty this is their lash snack lengthening mascara which honestly I purchased this mainly for the lower lash as you can see it definitely gives you something very much something and I love this mascara for the lower lash line so highly recommend this one as well and now for the lips which I am so very excited for oh wait I actually used my Kosas brow gel and that is in the shade the shade that I get is brown black so I use that this is a step that I also always usually forget I don't know how like my mind just be all over the place <laughs> but for lips we are going in with the Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Scorpio this is definitely like a burgundy lip liner which complements red lipsticks so very well so again we're just lining the lips with this and now for the star of the show a bright red lip this is red velvet liquid lipstick by glam light i feel like people sleep on glam light a little bit just a little bit i know a lot of people don't like you know makeup that looks kind of like you know it's like food related or you know stuff like that but this is a beautiful bold liquid lipstick the shade is on point it complements any skin tone and i feel like this is perfect for this season and to set the face we are going in with the urban decay all-nighter setting spray and that completes the look you guys all right you guys that is it for today's video i am so very pleased with how everything turned out you are you know giving a matte soft eyeshadow look with a bold lip this is definitely a statement this liquid lipstick actually is on sale right now on glam lights website for seven dollars please go run and get it if you don't get nothing else but definitely highly recommend their liquid lipsticks they are not drying they are comfortable that is it you guys for today's video i hope you truly enjoyed i hope you guys have a blessed one be safe and i will see you in my next video take care bye